friends i hope all of you are doing good today i am going to teach you english grammar from class 6 lesson number 4 the subject and the predicate when we speak and uh, when we write something we use word right so when those words are set in proper order that makes sentences a sentence is made up of two parts that is subject and predicate okay let's understand about subject and predicate what is subject subject means a person or thing is being discussed and predicate is <coughs> predicate shows something detail about the subject i have uh, written some example out here if you see here you will understand more here it says number 1 it says mary has a little lamb here we can see that mary mary is a subject has a little lamb is a predicate and then number 2 is the cat chased the rat here the cat is the subject chased the rat is the predicate now number 3 we can see here the cow is at the manger where is the cow cow is in the manger the cow is the subject is at the manger is the predicate now we'll go to next number 4 the milkman is coming the milkman is the subject is coming is the predicate now here number 5 let's see Toby and Chauba are going to market. Who all are going? There are in the sentence when when we see there are two person. We can we will not take only this one person Toby. We need to take both the person. Toby and Chauba is the subject here in the sentence are going to market is the predicate. And here number 6 we see here they have won the match okay who won the match here in this sentence they they will be the subject have the won the match is the predicate i hope you understood through these examples and i have i would encourage all the children to do this home assignment as you stay at home question number 1 underline the subject and predicates in the following sentences number 1 My brother works in a bank. You have to underline the subject and predicate in this sentence. And number two, the train arrived late. Number three, an old man was standing in the street. Number four, Ramesh speaks English well. And number five, the climate of Bangalore is pleasant. Thank you.